Michael W. Smith and the Christian music community rally together in the wake of the tornadoes in Tennessee. Plus, Ben Affleck opens up about his Christian faith and a tightrope walker crosses a live volcano. Hey guys, it's Anita Wingley of Faith Strong Today and here's what's making the headlines this week. Tornadoes ripped through Nashville and Central Tennessee earlier this week, destroying buildings, homes, and leaving tens of thousands without power. In response, Nashville's Christian music community have been sharing their heartbreak on social media and gathering support for relief. Award-winning artist Michael W. Smith was on the ground helping with recovery efforts. Take a look. A lot of destruction and uh, we're here with uh, the First Lady. Maria, and we're handing out some sandwiches and trying to help these people who uh, need our help. Other artists like Carrie Job, Natalie Grant, Stephen Curtis Chapman, and For King and Country posted on their social media after the tornado, telling their fans that they're safe and calling on their community to pray. In culture news, Ben Affleck is opening up about his faith journey. He recently visited Mosaic Church in LA and sat down with Pastor Erwin McManus to talk about his new film and the role of faith in his life. Ben says that he discovered Christianity later in life and it helped him get sober. He now attends church regularly with his family, but he still has struggles. Here's a clip. Faith is something that I, uh, I have and is also something that's been a struggle for me uh, as, you know, going to church and I really find the Christian teaching um, beautiful and moving. Ben says that being part of a 12-step program helped him to re-understand his faith. And he channeled that experience into his new film, The Way Back, about an alcoholic basketball coach getting his life back. Tightrope walker Nick Wallenda has made history crossing the Grand Canyon, Niagara Falls, and New York City's Times Square. This week, he added another one, crossing an active volcano in Nicaragua. Nick comes from a long line of tightrope walkers, but he says he doesn't do it for the fame. He believes that God has given him a talent and a gift which he uses to bring glory to God. Throughout his precarious walk, which aired on live TV, Nick was heard thanking Jesus, praying, and singing worship songs. After 30 minutes, he made it safely across and into the history books. That's it for this week. I'm Anita Wingley. For more great content and inspiration, stay tuned on Faith Strong Today.